Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the Lord is saying, repent, 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 repent. So it says in Acts 3.19, repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. It says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Brothers and sisters, it is time to repent. It is time to repent of our sinful, selfish ways. Time is short and we must repent. Now, repentance. Repentance isn't something that you do just one off when we first give our lives to the Lord. No, it is something that we must do every day. Check your heart. What are you holding on to that the Lord is telling you to let go of? What are you holding on to? That you are putting before him. It's time to let go and give it all to him. What is the point of holding on to something that when you go into the eternal life, into heaven, when you die or when the rapture happens, you can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. But it could be the thing that gets you left behind. It could be the thing that leaves you behind. How sad. It's not worth it. And the truth is, most of us probably have that, that one thing that is hard to let go of. Most of us do. There is something. It could be, you know, you're putting a child before God. You're putting a girl that you're interested in and pursuing before God, your wife before God, your husband before God. It could be your work before God. It could be entertainment clothes, food. What are you putting before him that he is telling you to let go of? It could be, you know, sin, lust, your flesh, money, greed. What is it? What are you putting before him? That could be the reason you're not taken on that day. Because I'm telling you people, it's happening. It's happening and it's happening soon. And it's a scary thing. It's scary and exciting because one, Oh, we want, we want the rapture to happen because, oh, how great will it be to be with our Lord. But it's scary just in case we don't make it. So now is a time to repent. Now is the time to seek his face. Get on your knees and seek his face. Get on your knees and repent, 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 repent. He is telling you to repent. There's not much time and you never know when it's gonna happen. Don't think that you have five, 10 years. Don't think it's not happening in your lifetime. He is coming back and it's happening soon. It's happening soon. 
Just get on your knees and repent, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you put onto your children's heart, Lord, the fear, the fear of you, Lord Jesus, so that they get on their knees, repent, repent and decide to walk in a life that is according to you, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord, that they walk in a life pure, righteous and holy because you say, no, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Oh, my gosh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. It is time to repent and seek his face like never before. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, seek his face. Seek him. Seek him. Spend time in his presence. Study his word. Study his word. Look at what's happening in this world today. Open the Bible. Open his word. And you see it. You see it happening. Be ready. Get on your knees and repent. Repent, repent, repent. It says in Matthew 6, 33, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It says in Matthew 10, 38 to 39, And if anyone who does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me, whoever finds his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Brothers and sisters, I'm just here to encourage you to, you know, Put him first in your life. Put him first in your life. Put him above everything of this world. You can't take, you know, you're not going up there with your son. You're not going up there with your wife, your husband, your mother, your father. It's you alone. You alone will stand before God. It is time to put him first. You can't go there with all that money that you are spending your whole life trying to gain. You can't go there with that awesome new car that you just bought. Sure, it's nice to have those things, but don't put them before him. Don't put them before him. So I just pray, Lord Jesus, that we put him first and repent. Oh, Lord Jesus, that we put him first and repent. Oh, we put him first and repent. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I just pray for the Holy Spirit. I pray for the Holy Spirit to come down to come down and touch every single person. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for the Holy Spirit to touch every single person. Fill them with fire, 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 fire in Jesus' mighty name. It's Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I pray, I pray that you heal those who are sick. Heal those who are sick. Deliver those who are demonized and oppressed. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, just send your fire down. Fire down. Oh, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with fire, 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 fire. Ora bashara katara na 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 bashu. Ora bashara katara na 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 bashu. 
Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. It is time. It is time, Lord Jesus. We seek you. We seek you more than ever before, Lord. We seek you more than ever before. Oh, Fill us. Fill us. Set us all on fire for you, Lord Jesus. Set us all on fire for you. Oh, Rabasha. All we want is you. All we want is you, Lord Jesus. All we want is you. Oh, Rabasha. Oh, Rabasha. Oh, I encourage you to keep praying, keep praying, keep praying and seeking Him. Oh, Lord Jesus. 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 Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, Jesus. This is a wonderful day. Today here in Australia, it's nice and sunny. It's been very rainy in this winter. And it's a beautiful day, a beautiful day just to praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.